And now for a nutritional tip by Mark Wood. Thank you again, doctor. Nice to be here. Uh, today I want to talk a little bit about self-defeating behavior. And what I mean by that is that oftentimes somebody starts doing very well on a lifestyle change or a dietary change, and then for some reason after they get a little ways along, they start what I call self-sabotaging. And that's always curious why that comes up, and there's a lot of reasons that it can. Um, one often has to do with the fact that a diet that they're on is just not the right diet for them, and they need to really be looked at more individually, biologically, so that that diet can be adjusted. Is it really meeting their deficiencies? And if it's not, that's one reason why they tend to come off. But it can also have to do with things like emotional trauma. It can have to do with belief structure. It can have to do with addictions that they may have that get in the way as well. Um, often I find that it's very true, particularly with people that come in with a large amount of weight that they want to lose. And as they start losing that weight, um, I like to think of it as that there are emotions that are trapped in that body fat that they're losing. And as they start to go through the layers, they start to have to deal with these emotions. And uh, normally a nutritionist is not somebody who's going to be able to deal with those types of things. So the benefit of a health counselor is that we're trained to be able to handle any of those situations that come up, whether it has to do with beliefs or mental attitude. You often mention to me, doctor, about positive attitude and how important that is. I absolutely completely agree with that. I think that's good medicine. I'm, I'm glad to hear you say that. Um, but there is often somebody who starts to backtrack on themselves because they either don't really want to get there. That's usually not the case. They usually do want to get there. And if they do, if they're willing to work through it, we can usually get them through those layers and deal with anything that comes up. If there is emotional trauma, normally that just needs to be dealt with as well, and then they can continue on and feel safe. Many people look at that as layers of protection, like a fortress around themselves. Mm -hmm. And so then they keep that down at a deep level and they never have to deal with it. But the truth is you can never really get to that healthy place that you're trying to get without dealing with those issues. So whatever the block is to your health, you walk into my office, it's fair game. Okay. It's something that's going to come up. How do people uh, reach you? Um, well, you can reach me at um, Dr. Rennell's office in the same building. It's 982-2440. Um, call and you're welcome to ask for me or leave me a message or just talk with any of the receptionists there. Get on my schedule. I'd be glad to give you a free consult for the first meeting. That's great. Thank you, Mark. Thank we'll you be Dr. right. Okay, we'll be right back with more on Talk 1260 KTRC, Western Medicine, the humanity behind the vanity.